Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Make certain the microphone's working there. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick weather update for the early morning hours of Friday. Things are looking pretty nice for right now. A little bit on the chilly side, no question about that. But once again, we're going to be seeing that stick around for the course of the next few weeks. We've got about maybe over just halfway until we're done with the winter season and heading towards springtime. And as we go into the weekend, some much nicer, read warmer conditions into the mid-south. Some pretty nice conditions as we head into around the seven-day forecast. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. If you have plans for outdoors this weekend, the temperatures look okay. Unfortunately, the chances of rain are going to be back our direction, but that's not entirely such a bad thing. If you take a look at my car and the city streets out there, it could use a bit of a wash off, and that's what we've got again into the Mid-South area for later on. Also, the possibility of maybe some thunderstorms coming our way as we get into around Sunday evening and could be the potential of maybe some stronger weather in our forecast. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Don't forget to check in again throughout the rest of the weekend on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and on many other places. We'll show you where you can check in in just a little bit, and we'll show you a little bit more about what you can send in for pictures out there. A lot of you sending in some really great pictures over the last couple days, and we'll take a look at some of those submissions and what we got on around the area on social media, so stay tuned for more on that. If you've never tuned in here before, first of all, welcome to Weather Overtime. Again, if you haven't had a chance to check in and you can't stick around for the whole forecast, Here's what the forecast looks like in a nutshell, and if you can't stick around for that, forecast in the blue bar at the bottom of the screen moving along that direction, and you can always check out more information about our seven-day forecast here at wreg.com slash weather. Drop your locations, and if you have any weather reports in the Mid-South, please make certain those are visible. Uh, give us an idea as to what's going on with that thermometer outside your kitchen window or wherever you've got it, and let us know what the conditions are out there for the rest of the day today. Good morning to everybody who's checking in from around the area. Southern Oklahoma, Angela Tony, anywhere near Lawton. I've got some friends from high school who live around there. And Olive Branch, Tracy Brunsell. Hope I'm reading that correctly. Two-point typeface and bifocals don't really mesh too well together. Rest of the forecast through the day. Again, temperatures not doing too bad. Back in the mid to upper 30s around lunchtime and lower 40s. Granted, that's not exactly what we would call warm, but considering where we have been in the ice box over the last couple of days, things are going to be looking a lot nicer as we head towards sunset later on tonight. Mostly clear and dry today. Not seeing any chance of rainfall just yet. But in the next couple of days, stay tuned because we've got more chances of of rainfall on the way, and we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, a few clouds drifting on through the area for this morning, but otherwise looking at mostly sunny skies across much of the rest of the Mid-South, looking toward Oxford into around the area of the University of Mississippi, Ventress Hall and the Student Union back there through the trees. Again, pretty quiet on the Ole Miss campus for right now, and some snow patches left over there as well. The towers of Poplar and Mendenhall, Poplar Pike, and Germantown Parkway just north of Germantown High School. Plenty of sunshine for today, and temperatures remain a little bit brisk. Upper 20s, breezy winds out of the south at about 8 miles an hour. That's giving you a wind chill down into the lower 20s at this time. Uh, Anita K. Scott Callis, 28 degrees in Trenton, Tennessee. Thank you very much. Crystal Cackler, sunny 27 in Lakeland. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Gainesville, Florida. Angie Ellenberg. I'm just betting it's a little warmer down that direction. Thanks for dropping by for this morning. And thanks to everybody else who's checking in across the Mid-South uh, and beyond. Coffeyville, Mississippi. Haven't been down that direction for a while. Jenny Turner. Thanks for stopping on by for this morning. Here's what it looks like around the area of downtown Memphis. Again, from I-55 to Crump Boulevard and Riverside Drive. Traffic is moving along. Roadways are decently clear, but there are still some ice patches out there in the breakdown lanes and right around the merge points. So please use caution, especially if you're taking those curves out there that might involve kind of skimming close to the breakdown lane. You might catch some of that ice, so let's be careful uh, into that direction for the rest of the day today. I have 240 and Poplar Avenue. Traffic heavy, but moving along in all directions as we approach the backside of rush hour for right now. And plenty of sunshine out there, so good visibility across much of the Mid-South, so no problem seeing there. Delays at Memphis International Airport, not seeing any at this time. Fair skies, winds out of the south at about 8 miles per hour, and good news across the rest of the continental United States. Outside of Phoenix, with some weather delays by just a little bit, we're not seeing much of anything going on 
in the way of problems for air travelers this morning. More on this forecast and other details from the Federal Aviation Administration. Go to fly.faa.gov and they'll keep you up to date on where all the slowdowns are occurring out and across the area for right now. Still some snow in Burleson, Tennessee. Janice Dickens, thank you very much. 32.6, very specific. Joyce Johnson Berry from Crenshaw, Mississippi. Haven't been down that direction since I talked to the school groups down there a few years ago. 23 in Hendry County. Sheila Ogden Gibson. Thank you very much for checking on in this morning and from everybody else bringing information about what's going on into and around the area. Thank you very much for that, sir. Getting some updates here for our Live at 9 show coming up a little later. Storm Tracker 3S radar showing again little, if anything, at this point in time. Pretty quiet uh, at this point in time. Triska Lynch neighborhood been without power for the last 30 minutes. Uh, don't know of any at this point in time, but uh, we'll check in on that and see if we have anything else going on uh, for this morning from the newsroom. So thank you very much for passing that along. Temperatures in the Mid-South, again, we've got some numbers back in the mid-20s. Combine these with the winds out there, and you've got wind chills easily back into the teens. We've even seen some single digits across the area from early on this morning, so very low wind chills once again if our kids out of the bus stop for this morning. For those of you who have school, and if you don't or want to know who does and who doesn't, go to WREG.com. We'll have more information on that to see what's going on here. Mary Littrell, Littrell, hope I'm saying that right, Orlando, Florida, 49 degrees. Wow. And uh, say hello to my wife's aunt, Suzanne, who lives in that area, and her uh, uncle, Cody, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in and around that area at this time. Rest of the day today, again, here's what it looks like as we go throughout the area close to lunchtime, back in the upper 30s to around the lower 40s. Moving lines on screen, that's showing again the winds out of the south at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But the main thing it's going to be doing is keeping the temperatures up throughout the rest of the day. And numbers like this may not seem quote-unquote warm, but they're a lot better than what we saw just a few days ago, that's for certain. So we've got some very pleasant conditions out there throughout the rest of the day, back into the lower to mid 40s and looking quite pleasant across much of the area. A few clouds drifting on through the gray colors, again showing some cloud cover from Oxford, Batesville, back up toward Forest City and Harrisburg, but no rainfall expected at this time. News Channel 3 at 10, Jim Jaggers complete forecast back in the mid to upper 30s, and then through News Channel 3 daybreak into tomorrow morning. Again, temperatures back into the lower to mid 30s, but not expecting rainfall immediately on Saturday morning. More speckles of rain as we get into Saturday afternoon, and then best chances of rainfall will be after midnight on Sunday, right on into Sunday morning and continuing throughout the afternoon. Now, we're not seeing anything for today in the way of severe weather anywhere across the southeast United States, so good news on that. Likewise, for Sunday, we're not getting anything either, but on Sunday, close to the Mid-South area, the light green colors indicates just the potential of some thunderstorms, and notice again, we're kind of on the eastern edge of that, which means this possibility is going to be moving our direction into Sunday night and Monday morning. A marginal threat west of Little Rock, east of Dallas, into much of the Arklatex area is where we're going to be seeing the potential for a marginal threat for severe weather. It's not huge, but it's one of the stronger severe weather threats that we've seen in quite some time. So this is something we're going to have to watch out for. This forecast will change throughout the rest of the weekend. So if you have any plans for outdoors, again, thunderstorms could be possible by Sunday evening. And again, some severe weather back to our west, but this could expand and move our direction or it could just fall apart completely. As of right now, the signs are not great for severe weather, but once again, it's about as strong a signal as we've seen in quite some time. So we will be watching this, so keep it tuned to the weather experts throughout the rest of the weekend, and we'll keep you updated on that potential as we get closer to Sunday evening. If we get anything, again, gusty winds should be the main threat, maybe some small hail out there. It is still pretty cold, several thousand feet up, but otherwise not doing too bad for severe weather yet. It's time to keep updated on severe weather, Stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised on the new Skywarn meetings coming up across the Mid-South as well. 28 and sunny in Eads, Tennessee. Jeff Livingston, thank you very much at this point. And again, let's see, checking in from around the rest of the Mid-South, Bozo Wolfolk, thank you for joining us from Senatobia and everybody else uh, from checking in so far this morning to keep you updated on the weather. Mid-40s for highs today, plenty of sunshine across the area. Going to add about 10 more degrees to the forecast numbers into tomorrow where we see 
the chances of rain start to kick in and continue through Sunday. We'll be back in the lower 60s, which should do a very good job of getting rid of most of the rest of the snow. The thicker snowfall, four inches plus, that stuff could stick around for a while because once you get to about four inches plus on snowfall, that stuff acts as its own refrigeration system and it takes a lot of ambient heat from the sun and the ground underneath it to melt that stuff. But that should do a pretty good job of getting that out of here and hopefully enough showers to kind of wash the chemicals off the roadway that we've been using to melt the snow and keep things safe. And of course your cars and trucks out there could use a bit of a bath. So I'm guessing the uh, car washes are probably going to be pretty busy in the course of the next couple of days out there. Now again, Sunday night, that's where we see the possibility of thunderstorms. Monday morning, a pretty good chance of rainfall coming on through, but hopefully done by the time we get on the air with daybreak on Monday. Corey Ventura will have more on traffic for you coming up, and Todd Demers will have your forecast as well coming up in just a little bit. Now again, through next week, it doesn't seem, again, too warm, but normal for this time of the year is back in the mid to upper 40s, so this is going to be just a little bit above normal and looking very nice into the course of the rest of next week with little, if anything, outside of Monday. Monday morning, picking up the possibility of some showers out there. Now, toward next weekend, Friday night into around Saturday, we may see the potential of some more showers. Doesn't look like severe weather right now, but once again, that's something we're going to be checking out and keeping a very close eye in relation to. So keep it tuned to the weather experts for more information on that. 37 in Tampa, Louise Krimmel Mirvik. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Apologies if I'm not. 25 in Bolivar, Jimmy Pugh. Thank you very much for that. And good morning to everybody else who's checking in for this morning across the Mid-South and points beyond. And again, drop your weather reports and your location into the comments section. Would love to see where everybody's from and what the weather's doing where you're at. Currently from... Minka Mia Turner, if I'm saying that correctly, a almost incredibly long and possibly dangerous if you're underneath it, icicle from wherever she's located and again seeing some very cold weather into that area. So thank you very much, Ms. Turner, for that. From D Sager 001, from points a lot farther south in the Mid-South area, not too sure where this was taken here, but a very nice sunset from wherever you are down toward, I believe, Florida, if I'm not mistaken. So at least some uh, very nice sunsets going on in that direction. And from Memphis underscore Tom, very nice view of the waxing crescent moon being seen from earlier in the course of the last couple of days. So thanks a lot for passing that along. Uh, I wish we could have some good viewing for, again, astronomy purposes into the weekend, but unfortunately more clouds are going to be moving on through. So doubtful we're going to have really good viewing conditions out there for anything involving uh, the space station out across much of the area. But again, we'll keep an eye on that throughout the course of the rest of the area and again throughout the rest of the Mid-South area through the weekend. If you've got weather pictures, we want to see them. And this is a great place to drop them off. Again, from Twitter, Aonic underscore WRAG3. Instagram Instagram, Aonic, no underscore necessary, WREG3, and you can contact my Facebook page at facebook.com slash AustinOnic, WREG3, and again, an opportunity to get your pictures on the air. We'd love to see what you got. We'd love to show them, but if you don't send them, we can't show them, so you kind of see the problem that we're working under here. So send them in. We'll do our best to get them on the air for daybreak and throughout the rest of the weekend as well. Love to see what you got, even if it's not from the Mid-South area, if it's a frozen pond or a great sunrise, whatever it is, we'd love to see it. So send them along to us and we'd love to be able to see that. Keith Caldwell, no problem on that. Sometimes I get a lot worse from a lot of other people, but thank you very much uh, for saying hello this morning. Uh, Walls, Mississippi, Julia Cavallo, 23 degrees from Walls. Thank you very much on that one. One. Thanks to everybody else for checking in for this morning and dropping your temperatures and your reports into the comments section from there. Catch up to date with my complete forecast. I'll be on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live through 10 o'clock this morning. You can get them on Twitter at Talkback Live. And if you can't dial them up on the radio because you're too far out of town, dial them up online at TalkbackLiveNetwork.org. And of course, I'll have your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102. 2.3 when you can't get the forecast on your computer or on TV when you're out and about. Dial us up on the radio and we'll keep you updated there. Coming up in just a little bit on News Channel 3 Live at 9, we'll take another look at the weekend forecast. We'll see if anybody sent in any more weather pictures out there. 
And of course, we'll have another edition, the longer edition of Weather Overtime. We'll take a look at weather where the troops are, and we'll also take a look at more of your pictures that you sent in, and that'll be coming up after News Channel 3 Live at 9, around about 10.30 or so. We've got a lot of updates to tape between 10 and 10.30, so it'll be somewhere around 10.30, somewhere in there. Not that we're trying to be unspecific, but that's the way TV updates work. So again, we have to be kind of generous in when we might be on. So join me about 1030. That'll be on my main Facebook page. And of course, we'll be posting more information available at WRAG.com slash weather. Thanks to everybody for joining us. For more information about what's going on, again, keep it tuned to our social media sites and our main web page throughout the rest of the day and rest of the weekend. And we'll have more details for you as well coming up throughout the rest of the weekend and into, again, Sunday night, that potential of severe weather. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks to everybody for joining us for this morning. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 for a lot more throughout the rest of Friday and into the weekend.